So we have an opportunity here. What's next? What do we do next with this? Opportunities, as you will recall, can become projects, tickets, sales orders, or agreements. It, agreements aren't listed here, but it can become a billable record. When you are converting, this is the first distinction I make between projects and sales orders. So the biggest detriment and the biggest drawback to sales order in, sales orders in ConnectWise is that they do not allow for time or expense logging. So if you or your techs or anyone need to log time, it's always going to be a service ticket or a project. If you are just reselling a product, if it's a box sale or a supply only job, I recommend using sales orders exclusively for those types of orders. And the reason that I only use sales orders for box sales or supply only jobs is because it allows the system and everyone who works in your business to know which orders should be moving through with as few touches as possible. The margins on a sales order or a box sale or a supply only job are already very low. They haven't factored in any labor, so they shouldn't be difficult to manage in your ConnectWise system. Sales orders are the best vehicle for anything where you don't need to put any time on it. As soon as you do need to put time or expenses, we're talking about projects or service tickets. Projects I tend to see when it is a quote. So if you are quoting something, if you're getting a customer PO, if it's going to be over time, you're looking at projects. I like to distinguish between projects and service tickets as the proactive nature of projects versus the reactive nature of service tickets. You may have to quote a service ticket, especially for a large job. That's still probably reactive. It might be that something is broken and it's just going to cost quite a bit of money to fix. Projects are more forward looking. They almost always require a signed quote and they're over a set period of time. Service tickets are more standalone and you wouldn't necessarily need to look at the profitability of a few service tickets together. Service tickets standalone are, the p &L would be the service ticket itself. So how much money did we make or lose on this one service ticket? Projects allow you to have multiple tickets and to look at the profit and loss of the overall project. So if you're bundling multiple tickets together, project. If it's just one standalone ticket, service ticket. That's how I like to distinguish between projects and service tickets, as well as know when to use sales orders.